Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> So the other day I watched a film called Seven Days. <laughs> this film is one of those kind of revenge horrors that are very gory, very disturbing, probably right up your alley. Um, but it had a point of difference being that it was done in all the right ways. Before I get into this, I want to say a special thank you to Jar Drad Gaming 223 Also, Rick Thacker, I believe that's how I pronounce your name, you also recommended this movie to me um, a couple of months ago. So, sorry for taking so long to get around to it, but I really appreciate it. And um, I'm pretty glad I watched this one. So Seven Days is a French Canadian film that is about a little girl who dies and then the father, who is also a surgeon, plans to take justice into his own hands. Yes, this story has been done a billion times before. It's nothing original at this point, but I do think that this film uh, definitely hit all the right points and showed something a little bit more perfected and more rounded and more polished, which I really like. So if you plan to watch only one disturbing film about this subject matter, I definitely recommend this one. Why I think this film is so well polished is because it has a great balance of action, gore and storyline and the storyline definitely takes you to the depths and really gets you to rawly experience as much as you can what this family is going through and obviously you know why they're choosing to do what they do uh, but it is really interesting to see someone play out and go through the emotional turmoil of what it would actually take to take that revenge if that makes sense a lot of us we think that we would do something like this to somebody who hurt our friends or family but what emotionally and mentally it would take for you to do this kind of thing to another human being that is beyond our comprehension so I really enjoy this film for that kind of look into the psyche and I really enjoy the fact that all the action and all the gore and let me tell you it is very gory uh, it definitely was balanced out by a really good storyline and some kind of slower emotional um, conversations and it just all balanced really well I think. The film is incredibly raw and very brutal uh, graphically and as I said emotionally and a way that they portrayed this was by not using any music at all throughout the film not even on the credits which I didn't really even notice until the end um, when they have those long drawn out scenes and you know the you know conclusion is coming around you realize they're not trying to milk it for all it's worth they're not trying to make you feel any pain or um, any way towards the characters then you just feel upfront which I really liked and I felt it was a more realistic and kind of tasteful even though this is I'm assuming it's not based on a true story, um, taste will take on the situation. The acting was amazing and there's nothing you can floor here. They were incredible. It was not cheesy at all and there is a scene in it that could be, if it was acted by the wrong people, could be incredibly cheesy. So I really appreciated that. Let's talk about the brutality of the film. You do see it all and I'm not just talking about the thing that happens to a little girl which you don't see the scene, but you do see the aftermath, which is fucking horrendous. Uh, but you do see some kind of human centipede, I'm not gonna ruin it, type uh, situations, which I was not prepared for, and it did really gross me out, especially because it is so real and realistic. You know, human centipede is, is ridiculous, and this film is very realistic. So that's definitely where I felt the difference in the execution of these films. I think that Seven Days is a film that really allows you to take that kind of step backwards and look at the bigger picture, really gives you some ideas to think about, which I really, really like. I love when um, films obviously make you think and open up for a bigger conversation, especially disturbing ones, because I think that that is the whole reason they're there. This is a great balance of gore and psychological thrills. And for that, I'm gonna give it a personal score of seven. I'm gonna give it a scare score of eight, and that is just for the gore and the horrific scenes. And originality, I'm gonna give it a three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And let me know if you've seen Seven Days down below. Yes, it does have subtitles unless you speak French. Uh, so enjoy that. And I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll talk to you very soon. Stay spooky. Bye.